More veterans from all over the country will travel to the capital this weekend to remember their fallen comrades. But there are fears that not everyone will be able to make it. Engineering works on the tube are likely to make it difficult to get into central London. Transport for London have pledged to get veterans there, whether it's by bus, taxi or underground. So will they keep their promise? Bryce Martell reports. Captain Malcolm Farrow is a veteran of the Falklands War. But this year, to take part in Remembrance Sunday, he'll have to get to the Cenotaph on foot. He can't take the tube because of engineering works. Uh, when you look at the scene here on Sunday, there are tens of thousands of veterans, and some in wheelchairs, some are blind, some are being helped by others. Uh, so they'll be coming from all over the country, and uh, they'll be coming by every means of transport. So if there are disruptions to transport, it is inevitable that some, perhaps many, may have difficulties. And that's a bad thing. The closest station to the Cenotaph is Westminster. On Remembrance Sunday, it plays a crucial role has both disabled and wheelchair access, but because of engineering works, the Jubilee and Circle Line will be closed. Getting around the capital on the underground will be difficult this weekend. A total of nine tube lines will be closed or partly suspended, but that it coincides with Remembrance Sunday has angered many veterans. It's hugely embarrassing to have those lines closed for Remembrance Sunday. I, I think it's, it is a rock and a hard place. I have had a look at this and said, look, can we cancel this work? Is it absolutely vital? If any of those veterans are concerned, let us know. We will assist them. We will get them to the event. Uh, yes, allow a little bit more time, but it's not as if we're not providing a service. It just means probably people have to take a different route, or if they haven't an alternative, please let us know. But one London cabbie doesn't want veterans to suffer any disruption. He's rounded up 80 taxis to offer them free rides from Waterloo to the Cenotaph. TfL were not willing to fudge one iota on the tube closures. It was planned maintenance, they couldn't do anything. And it seems in this country that we have an element of, we all know about our rights, but what about our obligations and our commitments you know, to these guys? I mean, if it wasn't for them, we might be having this conversation in German. Has it been hard to recruit? No, no. the opposite, the opposite. It's, we've got more marshals than we need. Um, we have just so many volunteers, everybody's touched by it and everybody just wants to get involved. The free taxi service has been so popular that cabbies say they'll offer it every Remembrance Sunday from now on. Brax Martel, London Tonight, the Cenotaph. It's so nice that we have caring people in London to be able to help. All right, sticking with transport and passengers.